welcome, welcome, welcome the rainy day to another episode and welcome to the high carb vegan lifestyle. If this is your first visit, you will soon find out that you have been saved. That you have found the solution to all of your problems. To all of the world's problems. I promise you, 100% if you do this lifestyle, you will be working towards the solution for the planet, for society, for your own mental health, for your physical health. You found the solution. And if you do this lifestyle, you will be work working towards it. I promise you 100%. Because the very definition of veganism is to reduce the unnecessary suffering of sentient beings to reduce that to the greatest practicable and possible extent. So if you live this lifestyle and if you encourage others to do the same, you will 100% be doing the right thing for yourself there, with no exceptions. And you'll be doing the right thing for those around you as well. So stand firm with your convictions. Join us. Join the cult. Um, so the question today is why do, why do you eat so much carbs, Brad? Why do you like to carb the fuck up? Why do you carb load daily? Whereas, you know, some people, uh, you know, some certain types of athletes, let's say football players, not wrestlers, because wrestlers like to starve, or, be, you know, I don't think good wrestlers like to starve, but to get in their weight class, they like to starve before they, but, um, you know, let's say football players, hockey players, you know, your average everyday people, they carb load before they um, they go out on game day because they perform their best after eating a lot of carbs. So the whole high carb mentality of health and fitness is that every day you need to perform your best. Um, the whole mentality is that everyone's an athlete. Even if you don't have legs and you don't have the money for a hand bike right now, you know, um, it, you know, so you can't ride your bike to work. Even if you can't run, you can't climb, you can't swim, you can't jump. Even if you're completely disabled in a wheelchair, even if you're Stephen Hawking style. Stephen Hawking's an athlete, man. He's a mental, uh, he's a mental athlete. Like, uh, he's a mental Olympian. Um, so, uh, yeah, this it's a... Uh, whole philosophy of giving that's what the high carb vegan lifestyle is it, it we believe that you should devote every day to going your absolute hardest and the human physiology is designed to contribute and to give and to to move and to um, to be just an absolute success in every way we are designed to do that and the the food we are designed for is high carb plant foods straight out of the ground man as you know minimally processed simple simple stuff just find the single ingredient foods that make you feel your best or the, the single ingredient foods that taste the best I'm talking about the blueberries the bananas dates strawberries sweet potatoes things that you can just eat a whole meal of these are the healthiest foods for you um, and these are the things you can eat. Your weight problems on this lifestyle are gone. If you decide to become a contributor, become someone who gives, you can't be fat. It's impossible. It's impossible, okay? Binge on carbs. This, I do it daily and I do it for a reason. Everybody, uh, it, that, that's part of the lifestyle. So you don't just, you know, you don't become your fittest, healthiest self simply by choking down six gallons of rice for a meal become your best self by doing that with a purpose by doing that for a reason so yeah it's diet and exercise you know but it it's it's food with a purpose it's exercise with a purpose 
That's the answer to all your problems. Uh, yeah, so just fill your stomach. Eat till you're full. Eat till you're fucking, you don't want anymore. And every day, do your very best to make the world a better place. That means, you know, that means riding your bike to work, not driving. It means not checking out after work and just, or uh, yeah, it, do, it doesn't mean going half-assed through work and then going out partying with your friends or whatever. It means doing your best at work every day. Do it, doing the very best you can because you want to be a good example and because you want to move up in the world. And it, it, you know, it, it means like getting to bed early so you can contribute harder the next day and it means you know, eating lots of food, eating as much food as you can, eating as much healthy food as you can fit in, down your gullet so you can go as hard as possible the next day. Um, and, and, and just don't be afraid, you know, your, your body's designed to go fucking hard. Do, do, uh, the, um, the only thing that can limit you is injuries, don't get injured. But really, to know your limits, you have to test your limits, you have to push your limits. And I, I can tell you myself, I've only barely tapped into my full potential. Um, and you know, like I'm, I'm dealing with uh, some interesting stuff in life. I have a new person in my life, and there's like just a lot of stuff going on, like a lot of changes going on. And I, I think my calorie intake has had to go up, even though I'm not riding my bike every day, or I'm not riding it. Uh, as much as I normally would, because I just uh, I have other stuff going on. I, I still my calorie intake is up, even though I'm doing less sport because I just have more stuff on my plate that I'm dealing with, and it's all good stuff. Um, and so that is why I carb the fuck up every single day of my life, because God knows hey, you you have challenges, massive challenges. To overcome like it you know whether it's trying to find a job or, or try, trying to get a roof over your head uh, all the way to um, becoming an entrepreneur and, and starting your own empire you know Donald Trump <laughs> requires a lot of calories Bernie Sanders requires fuck tons of calories Hillary Clinton must eat like three times her body weight in food every day because it just takes energy to do whatever you want to do uh, whether it's emotional or, or anything Stephen Hawking he'll uh, you know that dude probably guzzles down so many fucking carbs none of us would even comprehend because his brain is just going hard man and uh, so it doesn't it doesn't matter what your struggles are just never deny yourself the right to eat uh, eh, Every bite, every morsel of food that goes in your mouth should be done with purpose and intention. So it means choosing the right food, but never, ever, ever restrict your calories. Oh, um, eat more to live more. Boom. Done and dusted. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.